has most certainly turned into an active 24 hours for us and don't think we're out of the woods yet. We've still got some issues out there for later on this afternoon. It's primarily been rain, but of course the major complicating factor was that mixed precipitation, the light freezing rain that we saw on and off pretty much all night. And it did accumulate. Now I showed you this at the top of the uh, forecast there. I just want to show it again so you can get a closer look at it. And it's not going to be the case everywhere, but it's definitely the case here. Falling ice. We had ice accumulations anywhere between a tenth of an inch upwards of about a quarter of an inch. And this is even slightly more than that. But this is from the guy wires that holds our transmitter, or our, I should say our tower up in the backyard LAX 18. And you can see the thickness of that. That's a good quarter of an inch or slightly more. When you've got that falling, it can cause some damage. So just be aware if you're anywhere where there's, uh, you know, elevated, uh, you know, buildings, uh, wires overhead, anything that can accumulate ice, we're above freezing and it's coming back down again. Zero for the threat index, dropped it back down to zero from the one. Uh, that light freezing rain that uh, plagued us all night is pretty much done. We still got some rain out there, but we're above freezing. The problem into the afternoon is we're going to see a renewed shot of active weather. This time it could actually be snow. LAX 18 Storm Tracker Future Track shows how sparse the coverage is at the moment. You've got some rain over northeastern counties that has been gradually tracking off to the northeast, and you've also got some wraparound drizzle and showers around, but nothing compared to the uh, heavier rain from overnight. Snow is ongoing off to the north and out to the east. It's a mess into the mountains. Back to the west, though, there's your surface low, and as that tracks off to the east northeast, we're going to have one final shot from Mother Nature. We had seven tenths of an inch of rain. We got soaked overnight. It has been very wet. And of course, some of that was freezing rain. And now we're in the upper 30s, but look what's happening out west. It's 33 in Bowling Green. We'll actually drop a little bit as we go into the mid to late afternoon. We're in the upper 30s now. Watch the temperatures and watch the clock. It's around dinner time. We're in the mid 30s. Through dinner and into the evening commute, it was around 7, 8. We're dropping down below freezing. The concern here is this snow pushes through we could see a little bit of accumulation out of it. There's the rain track in east here. Those uh, snow showers uh, kind of on the robust side as well, popping by mid to late afternoon. This time's right up to the temperature drop that I just showed you. So by the evening commute, we may have a quick hit of some bursts of uh, light to moderate snow that come through, put down a little accumulation, especially grassy elevated surfaces. We'll have to watch out. It could drop visibility for the evening commute as well, so you want to watch out. It's not going to amount to a lot, but we could pick up anywhere between maybe a few tenths, few tenths of an inch, minor accumulations up to about an inch uh, with some higher amounts up over Ohio. So just be aware we had everything to contend with this morning for the morning commute and it was very wet and icy. Into the afternoon, we're going to go a little more wintry with those scattered snow showers developing. Highs holding in the upper 30s, but falling. We'll drop to the upper 20s tonight. So all of this moisture that we've had, all the rain, the ice, and then that snow chance for later on today, all that's going to hang around as we drop down in the upper 20s. So we may have some issues on the roads overnight, but here's the good stuff. The eight day, check it out. 40s, 50s, beautiful weather for Saturday. So I tell you what, we get through the next 12 hours. We're free and clear heading into the weekend and for much of next week as well.